Hey everybody, this is Joshua Kenny Greenwood. I'm the senior pastor and the overseer here at the Empowerment Center Church and churchfreedom.org. Uh, I'm also the author of this book called The Corporation Soul, Freeing America's Pulpits from the Restrictive 501c3 Laws for Churches. It's available right now on Amazon.com by going to corporationsoulbook.com. Today we've got a question that, that we've been asked by a pastor that wanted to ask, uh, can a corporation soul receive reduced rates on postage stamps? Uh, the answer to that is technically it can, but if if it only fills out a Form 1023 through the IRS, which we do not recommend, so we say no. Our book recommends that answer to be no. A corporation soul cannot receive uh, reduced rates on postage because we're recommending that the corporation soul uh, and the associated church do not fill out a Form 1023 uh, uh, a, receiving official recognition or seeking official recognition from the Treasury Department uh, regarding their tax exempt status because when a church does that uh, it, it's it's it is it's now legally uh, bound to the government to require uh, uh, consecutively to file annual informational returns every three years now where it was mandatorily exempted before uh, now it has to mandatorily file every year consecutively if it doesn't it automatically revocates its tax exempt status which is terrible. Uh, it, it, it's now it, they're now required by law to file their form 990s, the pastors, and I mean, it's just it, it's 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 a world of mess. It completely debilitates your ability to even preach freely. Uh, branch ministries uh, uh, with uh, uh, Dan Little as the pastor versus Charles Rossetti uh, did sign. A, a form a 1023 he tried to make in court the argument his 508 uh, c1a status that he was a free church uh, and and they and they stated the federal judge said uh, your your argument is more persuasive or it's I'm sorry it's more creative than it is persuasive uh, and so so that argument was was uh, uh, the argument that uh, uh, Dan little made uh, with branch ministries in federal court uh, stating that, that we're a free church, uh, it was invalidated because the federal uh, uh, judge said you accepted the benefit from the government, and the benefit came in the form of that 1023. When you, and when you received, when you accepted their jurisdiction, then you accepted the conditions to meet that benefit. And so when you sign that contract, you agreed to those conditions, uh, which are set forth in 501c3. And that's what we're trying to free churches from. So technically, technically, a church can uh, receive uh, those things, but they're just going to have to compromise everything in order to do it. And I refuse uh, to, to advocate the church compromising that much territory just so as a pastor you can save a little bit of money on postage stamps. Um, I love you, but, but it's not worth it. Uh, Esau sold his whole birth, birthright for a bowl of soup. Okay, to his brother Jacob, I don't want to see the church uh, sell its birthright uh, for for reduced rates on postage and the ability to apply for a federal grant. That's it. That's like your two benefits uh, that you never had to apply for. So here you go. So the book. If you have a question, I'd like you to go ahead and leave it in the comment box uh, below and subscribe to our YouTube channel because our YouTube channel has nothing but questions and answers related to the corporation soul. But if you actually have an original question, go ahead and leave it in that comment box and uh, we might go ahead and make a video and put it right here on YouTube. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe so that you can see that video if we end up posting it. So thank you so much. I hope that this has helped you. Uh, just re remember that the book answers every single question in great detail. So get it today at corporationsoulbook.com. Thank you so much. God bless.